welcome to another episode of Regional Italian Cuisine. Of course, my name is Caterina Borsato. Of course, as you all know, we had the wonderful fortune of being sponsored by 12 Bottles and we did a tour of Southern Italy. And the gentleman that actually accompanied us on that tour was a gentleman called Aldo Di Filippo, who is, uh, works with the company, of course, um, and knows lots about wine, but also his roots are right there in uh, Central Italy. Now, I'm going to welcome him to the program because we were fortunate also to go into his family home and share some of the recipes and cultural stories of the region and uh, it was I guess we were there just before uh, the quake hit and uh, back in uh, 2016 so it was a great time just to see Italy in its pure state so let me uh, introduce you to Aldo. Welcome to the show Bello. It's a pleasure. Oh, que bellis. What a trip we had. Now, let's just talk a little bit about uh, your family and your roots because uh, although you are in Australia working with 12 bottles, you originally come from Le Marc, you know? Exactly. You know, born in, um, in Abruzzo yes. and uh, grew up in um, the little town called Piane di Morro in the province of Ascoli Piceno in the Marche region. Yes, of course, for our viewers at home, Le Marche is considered in cent to be part of central Italy. To the north, we have Emilia Romagna. Absolutely. To the south, south is Abruzzo. Abruzzo. On the east coast, it's the Adriatic uh, sea. sea. And, and to the west is Tuscany, basically. And a little bit of Umbria as well. A bit of Umbria as well. Famous truffle country, yes. Uh, so, of course, what's really interesting is that Piano di Moro, of course, is the last town, I think you said, before you get to Abruzzi. Exactly. You know, just a few kilometers um, close, to, um, close to the border of Labruzzo. Yes. Uh, and so, obviously, the, the, there is a little bit of um, crossover. crossover on the dialect as well as the recipe of the, you food. know, the foods and... Le Marche, Le Marche is a really, really hilly sort of place. It isn't is. It? It and is. they say, of course, that Abruzzo is the green center of Italy. It is. Lots Absolutely. of national Indeed. parks and beautiful. Uh, it areas. is actually probably the, um, the greenest uh, region in, um, in Europe, yeah. so in proportion of the sites of the region. Right. So, of course, we, you have been kind enough to welcome us into your family home when we get to meet um, uh, Papa Grimaldo. La, la mama, Piera, Piera, ciao, uh, <laughs> and of course, with the first recipe, the most important person of all is Nonna Rosina. Yes, oh, fantastic! She she's was. in her nineties. What an amazing human being! And I, what is the first recipe that she's going to? Basically, she she uh, she basically um, wanted us to cook um, a very typical recipe called crispelle mbosse. Now, Nonna Rosina has chosen to show us some uh, a recipe that she feels is something that all children love, and I guess that's because she's thinking about gorgeous Aldo. Benvenuta, cara. Dammi un bacio. Dimmi dove sei nata? San De Gidio. San De Gidio, mannaggia. E... Vuoi venire in Australia? Sì, 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 sì. Ma no, io non, io non ti faccio venire in Australia perché ti voglio stare qua, che allora mi insegni tutte le cose, i segreti oh, della tua... <laughs> Bene. Allora, so she, uh, as I said, she, this, she was born in Sant'Egidio in Abruzzo. But we're going to talk about, of course, this first recipe. Spiegami, come si chiama questo piatto qua? Crespelle? Bosse, bagnate col brodo di gallina. Va bene, ho imparato bene? Sì, sì, Mannaggia. sì. sì, sì. Ok, allora, ci spieghiamo la, la ricetta allora. Come incominciamo? Con che cosa? Eh, con le uova. Mettiamo 10 uova, molto ti do la ricetta, 10 uova. Ci mette 10 fondi di farina gucchiaia. Sì. Allora, we're going to start with 10 uh, eggs, which are farm fresh eggs, mm. and um, mm. 10 half desserts spoons of double zero of plain flour. Mm. Poi ci mette uh, due bicchieri d'acqua, two glasses mm. of ci metto un, uh, due cucchiai di olio, grandi cucchiai, e uh, cucchiai quelli che si mangia. Okay. Mm. Two dessert eh. spoons of olive oil, poi un po' di noce moscata, a bit of uh, grated um, nutmeg, sale. E poi basta. E poi basta, that means no more. Dopo sbattuto yeah. bene, poi cucito con... Uh, right. si, si She's going to do the traditional style. Yeah. She's going to actually whisk the eggs with the fork, of course. A nice beating, huh? Mm. To aerate the eggs. Si. E poi? Si. E poi dopo cosa dobbiamo fare? E dobbiamo cuocere. Ah, so... E mangiarli. <laughs> So what she said, the next thing we have to do is we've got to cook them and then we can eat them straight away. 
So when this pastella is ready and you've given it a good beating, the next thing is we have to cook it. Um, so Nona Rosina has got a little pentula, a little pan, così grande, vero? Mm -hmm. huh? uh, so you can make the little crepes. Uh, a unto, so she's giving it a nice um, yeah. boiling with olio de oliva. Si, si, si. si. Ma pochissimo, vero? Si, 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 yeah. si. So with very little. She puts a nice label full and you make a lovely little crispella and you keep repeating the process. Um, from there, um, we make them ready and then we're going to assemble the dish. Now there's two ways of doing this. Um, la prima il modo di fare questo piatto di fare eh, la crispella a volte col formaggio, vero? Si, si. So this is a bit richer. E sono quadrettini, come ti piace? Si. So as Nona no Rosina said, the quadrettini, if you just chop up um, the crispella into little squares, that's perfect for the children because it's much lighter. But the traditional way is you get the crispella and you put grana parmigiano or, or parmigiano reggiano, so si. a good quality cheese. Si, si. You roll up the crepe, you place it in the bottom of a bowl, two side by side or three, whatever you like, and then you pour over the beautiful brodo made from Galina. Uh, this is a really rich dish, and of course, all the cheese will melt uh, once uh, the broccoli hits it. Um, the other thing that's very interesting in this dish is that, of course, the crepes are the basis of many things in, uh, in her um, uh, commune, really, or, or, or uh, in Abruzzo, and you can either do it um, for timbalo, Cos'altro? Si può fare con il cannellone? Cannellone, so it's a really lighter style rather than using pasta. This is just a beautiful take on uh, those classical dishes. Fantastica. Mamma mia! Ho veramente voglia di mangiare, lo sai? Eh, lo so. Dimmi una parolette in inglese. Te devi stare una settimana con noi. Eh, lo so, non abbiamo tempo. Vieni in nostra che te. Sarebbe bene. Dimmi una parolette in dialetto, dai. I just said, give me a couple of words in dialetto. Fregate would be perfect. <laughs> Bravissima. Adesso andiamo a conoscere Luciano che ci farà un'altra ricetta, vero? Sì, ma la, la deve vedere la ricetta. Sì, stai qui con me. Dove vai? Stai qui vicino a me. Ah, sì? Grazie. Da un, bacio, da un bacio a Aldo, dai. Sì. Aren't we lucky to have a nonna in our family because they bring out the best of those regional recipes. Now we're going to go for a short break and when we come back, Aldo, we're going to meet another member of your family. Zia Lina. Zia Lina.